Welcome back to the Nova Desi Convention Center. Yes, we continue with the second round eliminations. In today's main game, in Season 9 of the UNTV Cup, Ang Liga ng Public Servants. Give it up first for your NHA Home Masters. Number 0, J.D. Dizon. Double zero, Mark Valdez. Number five, Joseph Warbes. Number seven, Waldemar Tibay. Number nine, Alvin Vetok. Number 12, John Kenneth Clemente. Number 13, Rodolfo Sumaya. Number 15, Brian Dabu. Number 21, Jesus Prado. Number 22, Marvin Mercado. Number 23, Sherman Crisostomo. Number 35, Jose Adolfo. Number 45, Ralph Tibay. Number 56, Jojo Palat. In number 66, Antonio Luz Testica. Their head coach is Bennett Pallad. Assistant coaches are Eric Salamat and Charles Kimpo. Now make some noise for your GSIS Furies. Number zero, Jose Carlo Gonzalez. Number two, Tristan Hernandez. Number three, Michael Beran. Number five, Maki Escalona. Number six, Ronnie Laurel. Number seven, Rene Boy Banzali. Number 11, Dennis Bunyi. Number 12, Michael Enriquez. Number 18, Jonathan Pareño. Number 24, June Alfonso. Number 25, Aaron Martinez. Number 28, Aaron Sunga. Number 66, James Abugan. Number 82, Romer Diaz. And number 97, Tomas Cementera. Their head coach is Roger Yup. Assistant coaches are Rex Villanueva and Eric Rodriguez. Check out now the starters of your NHJ Home Masters. At guard number 7, Waldemar Tibay. The other guard number 45, Ralph Tibay. At center number 22, Marvin Mercado. At forward number 9, Alvin Vito. And the other forward number 66, Antonio Los Testiga. Check out now the starters of your GSIS Furies. At guard number 3, Michael Beran. The other guard number 7, Rene Boy Bansali. At center, number 28, Evan Sunga. At forward, number 82, Romer Diaz. In the other forward, number 18, Jonathan Pareño. Officiating this ball game are Eran Alejo, Julius Medillo, and Winston Veloso. UNTV Cup, Ang Liga ng Public Servants. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Nalaban na ng uh, parehong kumpunan, tied at 5-4 and four in the standings. Yung winner, Aakets, a 6-3 with a chance to go outright to the semifinals of first basket. Uh, para dito sa GSIS. Hinahanap ko rin si Maki Escalona. Ang siyang normally a eh, kakombo ni Banzali sa uh, backcourt. Backcourt, that's right. And we saw him suffer an injury uh, two play dates ago. We don't see him inside the playing venue. So these are two big disadvantages that uh, the Furies are facing. And these are two big opportunities that Coach Bennett Pallad and the rest of the uh -huh. home masters are going to try and ex uh, uh, exploit. Putahan natin itong report ni Rina Camara. Yes, Erica, not so good news para sa kupunan ng GSIS Furies, who will no longer have James Sabugan for the team. As per the coaching staff, James signed with another league. That's why he will try to focus more on that league. The more the team must be able to work harder. To be honest, the team's morale is affected with this absence, and the challenge for the coaching staff is to elevate the confidence once again for the Furies. Malaking kawalan nito, but they have to prove that the other talents are still intact and capable of bringing the team more wins. Also, an update on Maki Escalona. No? Nagpapagaling pa rin siya dun sa kanyang calf and hamstring injury. That's why he will try to play on their next game. Eric and Coach Ronnie, back to you. Maraming salamat, Rina. Next game will be the quarterfinals. Oo. Oh, oh. Sa Kalima, no? Abugan, 21 points in the last game para sa Fury. So, malaking kawalan yun. Hindi lang yung last game. Ito, ganda lang nilalaro niya. Oh. He's been uh, the force, major force inside. And one of the best open, open court finishers para sa team ng Furies na ngayon ay pilay na pilay patunta sa labang ito. Basket is good. Para kay Juan de Martibay who top scored para sa NHA with 14 points in their last game. Siya nagpanalo ron. Saka si Vito. Oo. 
Excellent feed inside. Diaz has to overextend himself today with the absence of Pambigan, uh -oh. who's normally their best inside scorer. Diaz, 14 points in their last game. Vito misses. Rene Boy Bansali. Nagpapaba ng bola. Ginaban tayo ni Walde Matibay, the Tibay brothers in the backcourt para sa NHA. Yan ang kaibahan pag si Bansali lang. Whereas may Bansali at Escalona na magkasama. Vito will finish. That's a turnover that resulted into that layup coming from Vito. Uh, first lead change sa ating uh, pakbaka na ito. NHA leading by 1, 6-5. First quarter. Uh, let's uh, check in right now with Rex. Eric and Totroni, the NHA Home Masters are also entering this ball game undermanned and bruised. Under therapy pa din daw si Derek Dizon for his foot injury. At hindi rin 100% ang iba nilang players. Chris Ostomo will try to play through a groin injury. Si Prado naman, yung right finger niya ay uh, heavily taped right ring finger dahil tumama raw ito kay Eljard nung kanilang last ball game. According to assistant coach Eric Salamat, with or without Maki Escalona sa opposing team, today's game plan is still focused on the backcourt of the GSIS Furies. He mentioned na para dito, talagang pinaghandaan nila. Ang uh, Tibay brothers din, together with Sumayang, para slow down yung guards ng Furies. Back to you, gentlemen. Maraming salamat, Rex. Well, at this point, Coach Ronnie, second round na tayo. Actually, patapos na ng second round. Wala naman talagang 100% pa na rin dito sa akin. Meron, meron. Nito. Yung mga hindi nakakalaro. <laughs> Pag uh, ikaw ay gamit at bata, dahil kang may nararamdaman. Oh. Either may illness, o sakit sa katawan, o may bahagyang pino. You'll just have to play through, ano? Ang tawag ka sa lang. Kasi lang ngayon, eh. Kasi sa insayo pa lang, maski wala pa sa laro. Sasaktan ka talaga, eh. Paulit-ulit. It's because of the mileage and your reputation. And uh, the pick is, it's tall on the body, eh. Bihira naman yung sobrang bata dito. Then on the shot clock, Diaz with the fake. Baseline drive. Behan, mula sa labas. A rebound. Into the hands of Diaz. The last touch, though, by Diaz. Hindi niya na-control. So, pupunta ang bola sa GSIS. Meron, Thank you, partner. NHA ang may possession ngayon. Rick, meron dalawang MVP sa naglalaro sa NHA. Si Luz Testica na two-time MVP sa UNTV Cup at si Marvin Mercado. Ang season MVP ng season, uh, rather, UNTV Cup MVP ng season 8. Bago mag-pandemia. I think we played the finals game before the lockdown happened. Uh, a week or a week and a half before the first lockdown happened in March of 2020. Mercado with an offensive foul sa kabilang banda. Bola ng GSIS. They're down by two. Bansali, mahigpit na binabandayan ni Walde Martibay. Diaz, nakaposte. Against V2, yeah. top move by Diaz. Mercado has to come earlier. Because Diaz was against a smaller defender. Oh, fade away by V2, wala. Sunga to Banzali. Uh, two on two break, Banzali. Galing. Ralph Tibay, nakapantay. Ganda sana ng ilan. Waldemar Tibay, pinasa V2 sa ilalim, gets the basket. Oh, He took with four. Yeah. Uh, the defense by Luz Testica Don. Pansali did not go down to bring that basketball across. Walde yeah. Martibay knocks in a three. Tibay has really been shooting the basketball well. As shown by the numbers in their previous match. Parehong kapunan galing sa panalo. Itong GSIS, a 10-point win contra sa Senado, samantalang ang NHA, a 6-point win against OPPMS. That was big. A team that beat the Senate defenders early. Earlier, coming from off an 11-point oh. deficit in the last uh, part of the fourth quarter. Diaz nagbintis, tumatakbo na naman si Vito. Vito has four. Make it six points para kay Vito. 7-0 run. 
after the score respect at 7 all. Or just the hand of coach Roger Yap to call a timeout here. Para sa few weeks. Doubling the output of the GSIS. It's a seven point lead. That was the first quarter with 5.20 remaining. Wala kang magagawa. You have to live with the fact that two of your best players are not around. Kaya bumagal yung laro nila. Normally, pag sa Escalona, lightning quick ito eh. Ngayon, Bansali has to do everything. Bring the ball down, call the pattern, score, defend. Bansali. Yes! So he brought the ball down. And scored. Doing all the hard work. Stop size 7 0 run. Mercado, he's in the bola. They swing it to the weak side. Bruce Testica, Bula Salabas. Yes! Bad news for the Furies. Straight as an arrow, three point shooting on Builders. They own three out of six. For 50%, that's 9 of the first 17 points coming from beyond the 3 point line. Pinakamalaking kalabangan ngayon para sa NHA with 8 points. Pati si Pareño, hindi niya makuha yung usual na tatakbo siya. Napasahan siya ni Escalona. Tatransition sila, hanapin siya ni Escalona. Yung easy shots. Pareño with 5. Luis Testiga misses. Konting tulak sa likod. Forbes. Yan ang konti, na dahil sa sigaw, hindi naging konti. Gonzali, they want an isolation. Pinapaikot si Enriquez. They want Diaz. Suma, catch and shoot. Yes. If Suma can make that shot consistently, that will augur well for the offensive power para dito sa GSIS. And this is a six-point run para sa GSIS after being down earlier by seven. Air ball para kay Waldemar Tibay. Pagkakataon para kay Banzali. Nice pull and pass inside for the easy basket. We cannot overemphasize the value of Enriquez playing off the bench. Always does something good when he's inside. Just a two-point game ngayon. Vito mula sa labas. Bansali, the big rebound. And a chance to tie the game here. Bullet pass. Diaz, medyo malakas yung pasa ni Bansali. Third over. Tinitignan ko si Banzani, coach, nasa niya si Diaz. Takbo ka po ba, Diaz? I saw that too. Mercado with a spin to the baseline. Double T. Galing. Not an easy shot to make. Requires a lot of death touch. Lead back up to four. Tino mo rin, si Diaz na yung nagbababa. Dabo. Parang Diaz, not far away from the basket. Timeout para kay coach Bennett Palad. They have a 4 point lead, 1915 contra sa GSIS. Pagkaya natin takbo, takbo. Try to magdamay tayo. Ingat sa foul. Four tayo, four tayo. Pinakamalaking kalabangan para sa NHA. It was eight points. 
Itong GSIS Furies made a bit of a run. Uh, ngayon, nakakalahati uh, nila. Yung uh, kalabangan ng uh, NHA. Diaz with the ball. Gahan at napakasahan. Uh, 11 seconds left on the clock. Sumas backs up from 15. Wala. Vito with the ball. Vito, nice move against Diaz. The pass. And Dabu is fouled. The emergence of Dabu is another force inside. And a legitimate double digit scorer who has made this team a tougher team to, to play. Ang laking bagay nung kanyang pagiging matibay at reliable na player of the bench. At sa ganda nung akin, mga sila, <laughs> napakamok tuloy yung bato. And maybe ibig ko sabihin, ang dami na saktan eh. But uh, all along, he was right there along the corridors. And right now, he's a legit rotation player. And he's uh, an endgame player as well. Ginagamit ito sa dulo. And uh, has already been named as one of the top players and one of the wins that they've had. But he gives us another foul to Diaz. And that's only his second. Dabu coming off a 12-point performance. One of four players in double digits. Para sa NHA, nung panalo nila kontra sa OPPMS. Kailangan mo ilabas eh. Kasi ilabas ang apat na minuto, dalawa na ang personal fouls niya. Parehong teams, pilay ang kanilang uh, rotation. Substitution players or white lean. Oh, that's gonna be an offensive foul kay Sunga and he knew it. Suma apologizing to the bench, raising his hand after committing the foul. NHA kaya ang dagdagan itong kanilang five-point lead in the first quarter. Vito faking, Vito driving, a kick out, loose testing up for three. Suma with the ball, yung pasa, mapunta kay Pareño, Parenzo with a good catch. Rivers is good. Pareño makes it a three-point game. Mercado spots up. Yes. It's the time of the season where the players' level of play has definitely increased two notches higher. Gagaling. Uh oh. Kaya konti na lang yung mga teams na talagang matitira. Big rebound para kay Banzali. A turnaround and an easy basket. And these are the things of work and sacrifice to get themselves into fighting for. Ang hirap pag insayo after ng trabaho rin. Pagod na yung mga yan. At mas may hirap pakipaglaro sa mga mas bata. Sumayang with a tip. Tries to save it. It will still stay with GSIS. Still good effort coming from Sumayang. Hindi na sayang. Sumayang just a few minutes on the floor. Mabalik si Waldemar Tibay. They want the defense of Waldemar Tibay against Rene Boy Banzali. Para itong si Sumayang, maganda na rin yung inakit ng antas ng laro. Pareño finds an opening. Another reverse shot. This time no good. May tulak. Mercado tumalsik. And a pushing foul. Ang tawag, Enriquez, it seems. That's right. Penalty na ang NHA dito. I thought that Pareño could have taken that three-pointer or even a mid-range shot. Mercado with five points. This is the first of two. Both teams actually in the penalty already. A little more than a minute na lalabi sa ating first quarter. Yes, yes, has not gone down. Has not shot from the line yet. Who masters for the fate meanwhile? Yes. Nice pass. Suga with the basket. Second feed coming from Diaz. Two-point game now. Vito. Lustestica. The kick out. Marcano from the free throw line. In and out. Diaz with the ball. Tatakbo si Banzali. Papasa kay Pareño. Two-on-one break. Pareño is fouled by Waldemar Tibay. Galing gumalaw ni Pareño. Yes, yes, yes. At ang galing ng kamay niya. Okay, Cal. Number seven. Walter Martino. This first. Two-feet on 
So you mentioned GSIS. First trip to the free throw line, Coach Tony. In and out on the first attempt. Para kay Pareño. Pareño has seven of the first 21. That's 33 percent or a third of their total output. Kaling sa math. Mintis pareho ng tiro ni Pareño at the line. Parang minadali niya, no? Nabati mo daw kasi maganda yung kamay. Ayan, tuloy. Pareño will sit down. Free throws for Waldemar Tiba here. To add to this two-point lead para sa NHA. Si Banzali ang punteria nila na pag-uhin. Enriquez. Baba ang bola successfully. Suma, yes! Sits for Suma. Sits at the first 23. That's about 20%. A tip by Suma. The leak out. Nice. Squeezing the best out of his short rotation. In less than a minute, Laurel scores his first bucket. Tied at 25. Under 10, first quarter. Vitug with six. Vitug pulls up. Three is good. Nine for Vitug. Restores a three-point lead. You have to defend the three-point line. The shot clock is winding down. But the Furies have shown enough fight in them, keeping this game close at the end of the first ten minutes of action. Para sa NHA after that big three by Vito at the buzzer uh, to end the first quarter. Vito with nine. He is the top scorer para sa NHA right now. Tibay right behind him with eight points and Mercado with six. Waldemar Tibay, corner shot is good. That's 11 for Waldemar Tibay. Quietly has led this team in scoring, but Laurel getting away. Nobody home. After the mid basket, you give up a quick two. This is a fighting unit, para sa Furies, eh? Oh. Mercado. Vito knocked in a three carina. Misses this time. Diaz with a rebound. Enriquez, the pass to Suma, guarded by Mercado. Four-point game. Diaz spots up for three. Vitu attacking. Mercado, the fake. Mercado. Keeping his pivot. Very agile move from the big man. Six-point lead, white shirts. As the builders continue to harass Banzai Banzali. Ralph Tibai, nice the pass. pass to Vitu. Vitu, easy basket. And Vitu now with 11 as well. The my brothers playing well. Not a good pass by Banzali. Prado takes it away with a steal. Prado coming off a 12 point performance, gets his first basket. Oh! Gonzalo and Diaz disconnected once again. Gonzalo asking to be taken out. Oh, 
you're facing a treasure, you have to stay together. Oo. Hindi pwede magkainisan. Kayo Mercado. na lang ang natitira. Nice pass, Mercado. Malakas ng konti tira. Banzali has the ball. Banzali just able to cross the midcourt before the eight-second violation. Banzali drives all the way, doesn't go. Suma, the putback. Bully basketball for Suma. Eight for Suma, a very good offensive output. Vitu taking advantage of a three-on-three three break and... Bad news. Oh, Diaz, but he's cramping up. Banzali is tired. Banzali will get replaced. And so will Diaz, Magpapahinga. I think it's an ankle problem for Diaz. We'll have to see. He's raising his leg. It's a water cooler. So Hernandez is in. Para sa GSIS. Along with Jimentera. Oh! oh. Out of control, Ralph <laughs> Tibay. <laughs> So 20 seconds of shot clock for the GSIS, uh, Coach Bennett Pallad on your streets. Both teams, again, coming off wins. Both teams in 5-4 in the standings. Uh, Enriquez will sit down. Pareño will uh, Para may more firepower sa offense, Coach Ronnie, itong uh, uh, GSIS without Manzali and Diaz on the floor. Ang tanong sa inyo magbababa ng bola sa kanila. The defense by Waldemar Tiba and Possession Arrow gives it to GSIS Furies. Let's uh, go to Rina Camara for this report. Yes, Eric, nice to know about Jonathan Pareño lamang tayo, who is currently taking up law studies now at the Western Mindanao State University. This hardworking player took civil engineering in IT in college, but it was his long-time dream to also become a lawyer. I asked him, saan niya gusto mag-specialize when he is a lawyer two years from now. He said that he wanted to be a civil lawyer. With this being said, he only practices with the team every Friday lamang, as most of the time he is in Sambuanga for his work and studies. Eric and Coach Ronnie. Maraming salamat, Rina. Uh, napakasipag mag -aral. Pareño. Uh, we wish him all the best and success in his further studies. Points on the bench, helping out the Furies, but they're still behind by 10. Pareño kay Eric, masita. Too easy. Prado, yes. Ito ko madadali pag nag-rotate ka na eh. Not even a real zone press, just a lot of backward pressure. And our UNTV News and Rescue Team, Iikot, uh, parang pupuntahan si uh, Diaz, who's uh, asking for some treatment as Dabu tips the ball out of bounds. Gamit na gamit ang mga members ng uh, News and Rescue Team today, Coach Ronnie. <laughs> Earning their keep with so many injuries uh, because of high-level basketball and intense competition. Yes. It's starting second round. You are trying to overextend yourself to try and go for a win. Laurel, uh, four points off the bench. Loses the ball. Trying to keep it alive. Diving for it. The save, no good. And Ralph Tibay will go all the way. A lot of layups for the home masters. A huge advantage. Leon. It's a 14-point lead for the NHA. Three-guard combo, white shirts, and four of them are still in the Substitution for the NHA. As Clemente is seeing action for the first time. Manzali is back in the game. Has no choice but to come back. Walang ibang guardia. Manzali atras. There's an offensive foul. I think it's going to be on Suma. Another turnover dito. Para sa GSIS. Coach Roger Yap sitting down. 
trying to sort out what he's going to do here without with so many players down, oh, a few yeah. players out. Next post, ka talaga habang mahal. Tumatakbo yung laro. Oh, Clemente with a nice move. Surprise too from Clemente using his foot speed to get inside. Manzali dribbles it off his foot back to back turnovers. Para sa GSIS. Manzali continues to struggle against the defense of the Builders. Two players in double figures para sa NHA. Manzali meanwhile. It's still scoreless. Kaya pala ko. Frustration. And Sumayang with a drop shot. 49-31. This is the biggest lead. Para sa NHA. And full control here in the second quarter. watching our second game here, NHA Contra sa kupuna ng GSIS. Please, update muna tayo dito kay Romer Diaz who's experiencing mild cramps on his uh, le uh, right leg rather right now. Um, the UNTV News and Rescue team is icing that area but he's requesting na itip sana siya yung area yon or i-bandage siya sana para at least maka pag uh, makabalik siya sa larong ito. Now I'll turn you over to Eric and Coach Ronnie. Thank you, Thank you very much, Vina Banzali. Great pass inside. Out of control yung tira. Suma with the offensive rebound and he is fouled in the act of shooting. There was a three-point basket nailed by Laurel. In the course of that uh, Vina report, Laurel has played well off the bench. Laurel has a total of uh, nine points as a second unit sub. So, on talang si Sunga, so counting for 12, was missed only once from the field. So, yung mga super subs ang bumubuhay dito. Kila coach Roger Yap, we're still down by 15. Under five, we're in the second quarter. Sumayang is playing point guard dito para sa NHA. Tight. Go ahead pass, Pareño, one against three. I'm going to frustrate si Bansali kasi normally sila ni Escalone yung nagpapasahan ng ganyan. Uh Oo. -oh. Hindi siya malilibre dahil wala nga habulin eh. But he has to keep his composure dahil wala na ba? Kahit bago naman dumating si Maka Escalona, nandiyan na siya. So Pareño at the line. He's studying to be a civil lawyer in wow. second degree. Yung isa lang ang hirap na. <laughs> I still remember. Coach <laughs> Bennett Pala down your screens. See, the more once a week that I should go practice with the team because of all his duties as both a, a you know an employee yeah, and... Yung naman kasi, it's not just in school, eh. Yung off-campus na pagpapasa. Oo. Uh -oh. Diba? Pareño stepping away from the defender and knocks in the three. Big shot! Once a week. But once a shooter, always a shooter. 11 for Pareño. As a starter, para sa green shirts. Lead down to 10. The high of 17. The tip goes outside. Bola ng GSIS. Sumayang picking up Pansali at half court. Gusto ng isolation ni Bansali oh, against Sumaya. Oo, sa makatira, yan. Oh, Bansali, beautiful move. It's a head and uh, shoulder fake. And he's gone. 
Nagtaka ko walang hangal, pero parang milya-milya, alam mo na ang gagawin. Oh. Double team, plus testika, hindi ko tambola na kay Vito at the top of the key. Vito, pinasa, Valdez. Ooh, forcing his way inside. Uh, maswerte, hindi natawagan ng offensive foul si Valdez uh, instead of blocking foul on Suma. Wow, number three on Suma already. Uh, so, second quarter pa lang tayo. Uh, Suma, magpapahinga. Kaya naman tumama yung kamay kasi. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nang gani ba this, but that one has already been blown. Or made, and so he has to rest. So another player, another rotation player out para sa green shirts. Diaz, Sunga, and that's the front line. Uh -oh. 12 kanina to eh, si Sunga. Eh. Yeah, another big man down as Diaz still trying to recover from a, a cramping right calf. Pareño, another beautiful move, almost, not quite. There's a foul against a um, home master. Pareño is the be creative this game. As the builders have lost grip of that 17-point lead. Losing traction, a little complacent at this stage, with under three minutes left in this first half. 49-41, a big run dito para sa GSIS after being done by as many as 18. A really huge run here. And this is a 10 unanswered points. Walo na lang hinahabol dito ng GSIS. Pareño with 13. And got 14 now para kay Pareño. 50% shooting, para kay Pareño. V2 baseline. Prado back to V2. V2 faking. Yeah, that's a trap. The Clinton roster. Some injuries late here in the first half, but they're only behind by six. Yep. Talk about guts and desire. Even with Manzali struggling. Another display of never say die attitude. Dito Pareño mula sa corner. Oh yes, Pareño now with 17. First half explosion from Jonathan Pareño. A thorny to be. <laughs> Jonathan Pareño says, "Not yet, Your Honor." Three point game. Itong NHA they've gone cold on the floor. A foul dito committed by Hementera. So Valdez will sit down. And uh, see Walti Martibay with Sumaya in the backcourt. Turnover by the NHA. Pass almost taken away. Banzali a little late coming to the ball. Laurel sa ilalim. Laurel lost the ball momentarily. Enriquez off the glass and in. The run continues, go try para sa GSIS. I've, I've, I thought that I saw this earlier, para sa OPTNS. Oh, yes. Pero yun, labing isang hinabol. Ito, labing pito. Oh. Dito, the pass. Juan de Mantibay, turnover once again para sa NHA. Juan de Mantibay, Coach Bennett para really concerned. Nakakunot na yung noo. Yung uh, kalabangan niya, eh, naglaho na, parang bulo. And in this possession, baka lumamang pa ang GSIS. Uh, final minute and 19 remaining. There's a foul on Ralph Tibay. The free throws coming up. NHA in the penalty already. Yeah. 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 Three team fouls pa lang para sa GSIS. Talaga yung coaching tiyaga. Pahabaan ng pasensya. Manzali. At kagatan ng labi. <laughs> His only option here is to tie the game. Missing the first. At a scorter back in the Palace for entry. Missing both free throws. Pero bola last touch by Mercado. Enrique's terrific hustle sa inalim. Yes. Those are the kind of plays that he plays on the table for the green shirts. Just happy to always be playing. Ano nakikita ko sa kanya? Oo. Oh, oh. Ang nagreklamo, basta para pag pinasok, laging may nagagawang kabutihan. 
Bansali binabantayan ni Ralph Tibay. The cut, Enriquez. Just short. Still made the right the play. Oh, oh. Ralph Tibay chasing down the pass. Ralph off the glass. Wala pa rin. Battle for the loose ball. Ralph Tibay <laughs> keeping it alive. Bansali has it. Three on. Actually, two on two break. Bansali rounds in a three. And GSIS back on top. Scoreless in the first quarter. Five right now. Here in the second quarter. Down 17. Now up to 19 point turnover. A great move by Mercado. Finally, the first basket of NHA in close to four minutes. Make caption yun eh. So makay pa kayo. <laughs> Mercado with 10. Make that 11. Pareño against the smaller Waldemar Tibay. Pareño almost threw it away. Him and <laughs> in traffic, yes. Whatever it is, this is a no fear lineup. Yeah. No doubt, no limits. Still up by two. With the depleted roster without Suma and Diaz inside. Waldemar Tibay left alone, misses from the corner, and that's it. After being down by double digits, it's about GSIS fighting back. So we're back on this one. Tapoy dong, laban ng bay. 53-51, GSIS on top by two against NHJ at the half. Here's uh, Novadesi, uh, second half of actions. I think the second game uh, sa pagitan ng GSIS and uh, NHJ after leading by as many as 19 points. Uh, NHJ trailing by two against GSIS. Para sa NHJ, three players in double digits. Vitug with 13, 11 para kay Waldemar Tibay, Mercado with 10. Samantala for GSIS. It is Pareño with 17, Banzali with 9, and Sunga... Third leading scorer with eight points. Third quarter underway. Banzali with an acrobatic shot gets the basket and my foul para itatawa contra sa home masters. Could this be the day of upsets? Kasi mga yari. Oh nga kung saan ni? Kausa pa yung kanila mga coaches kanina on my way back inside the playing venue. Sabi nila, wala na kami player pero malaban pa. Buta natin tong report ni Rina Camara. Yes, Eric, update on both teams right now. Down by two points, itong kopa na ng NHA Home Masters. And Coach Bennett Palat reminded the team not to be pressure on the inside. Underman ang kopa na ng GSIS, pero mas natatakbuhan sila dito ng GSIS. That's why Coach Bennett Palat reminded the boys not to underestimate the GSIS. You have to work hard in both defense and offense. Meanwhile, dito naman sa kopa na ng GSIS series, Coach Roger Yap just told the boys, you have to be more confident in playing and improve on your communication on the inside. The second half will be just like any other other practice says they have to do, they are free to do whatever they uh, think will be the best for the team. They just have to enjoy this ball game because the more that they are enjoying the ball game, the more that they are also doing in play. Eric and Coach Ronnie. Maraming salamat, Rina, right now. Ito, they look like they're having fun. GSIS leading by four now. Vito and company still looking for their first basket dito sa third quarter. Waldemar Tibay missing. Even without Diaz on the floor, Coach Ronnie is still trying to ice his calf. Eh, Oti-oti, lumalamang pa rin dito. At pumuputos ang GSIS. Hindi mo may paliwanag ng second quarter slide ng NFC. Except that when Coach Bennett decided to put in all of his second unit players. At walang natirang players on the first day. Ang slide yung level of play. 
Maganda tapat yung starters. Hindi naman starters dahil karamihan sa kumamaga sa GSIS ay maliban kay Pareño ay sila Laurel, sila Enriquez. Yung nakaupo si Sunga. Ano po si Banzani? Ang nabuhay yan sa dulo. Scoreless in the first quarter ended up with nine. After the first two quarters, Aus Laurel continues his career high now with 11. Perfect steal at four or five out of five from the field. Mercado passes. Lustestica corner. Wala. And Vito trying to keep it alive. There's going to be a foul with the kay Banzali. Six point deep balance at GSIS. 57 51 dito sa ating third quarter. Ang mahirap sa ganito pag naniwala ang kalaban ng Malaysia na kaya silang talunin. Oh. Tutu tutuluyan sila niyan. Lustestica finally knocking one in after missing his attempts in the second quarter. Hit one early. Has been quiet since. Talking about the two time UNTV Cup MVP. Lustestica now with a total of 8 points and 2 made triples. Nice cut. And Pareño with the layup. This is the most I've seen of Pareño attack the basket. And this comes because this is necessary without Escalona inside. And then missing the services for the season. Itong si James Abugan was opted to play in another league. Prado faking. Uh, almost lost it from the 15-foot line. Yes! Soft touch for Prado and that mid-range conversion. Enriquez, offensive rebound and the putback. Let me call him the Rudy Hatfield of the <laughs> MTV Cup. Laging nandun, di ba? Has a nose for the basketball. Scrappy. You see? Prado with a miscue. Lost the ball. I've been turned around, ano? Oo. Kabutihan naman para sa NHA, mahaba pa ang oras. Pareno. Driving on the left side. Hey, Petro. Traveling. Nakaw play. Vito. Nakakita ng butas. Oh, good defense by Suma. It'll stay with DA and NHA. With 18 on the shot clock. Prado. Inside Mercado. Itong kikil na kikil kanina pa eh. What a pass. And what a reverse layup para kay Vito. Twisting. Gliding. And nailing his 15 point. Oh, steal. Lustestica. Oh, what a rejection by Laurel. Uh, there's going to be a foul on Laurel. But there was a lot of ball then to the defense on him. Laurel has also played extremely well. Laurel's going to be wide for resentment to a ball. So this test got at the line after knocking in a three ganina. That's the first of two. A one point game. But the Papa Bajan Bolas, a Parenio, then. Laurel. Ooh, first miss. Well, I'm going to Laurel. Still look good. From her angle. Nasabayan lang yun, no? Oo. Kaya napingitan siyang ilobo, pero diretsyo. Two players down. Oh, no, no, no. Enriquez, sinina, and ito ni Prado as he was on his way down. Let's see the call here. It's clear na Prado is pulling down Enriquez. Holding foul with a tawag. Ay, uh, Prado. 
14 fouls already for the NHA. Only two team fouls for the GSIS. I yeah, would think that the juggernaut will spin over and carry through. Oh, a catch and shoot play with plenty of time on the side block. Pareño puts it up. That's 20 for Pareño, I believe, to lead all scorers. A drive and the dish. Luis Testiga to Mercado. This is one part of the game, Luis Testiga, that has vastly improved. The willingness to share that basketball and create scoring opportunities sa kanyang mga kasama. 12 for Marvin Mercado. Suma. Pass to Laurel that's uh, stepping outside. Good close out by Vito. Just a tiny effort in the wonders. Especially on defense. Sumayan. Back to Ralph. And Vito attacking. Dropping it off. Mercado is fouled. Builders doing the right thing, attacking inside. Trying to further add to the depleted roster of GSIS. Mercado with 12. 5 of 8 from the field. 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal. For the reigning. MVP. Laurel will sit down. Substitution by the GSIS. As Martinez will check in. Ito si Banzani, binababa ang bola. Binabatay ni Sumayan. One point lead para sa green shirts. Enriquez, catch and shoot. A little strong. Suna with an offensive rebound with a left hand. He did a pass with a good back. Vito to Matakbo. Three on three break. Vito crossing over. Vito dishing. Mercado again. Sailalim. Mercado is fouled. And sometimes you have to know when to just give up that shot. It's the most important thing when you're dealing with the eight players in the center. Second trip para kay Mercado. And just like the first time. The first is a miss. Nakapag nalo ka na rin ng may ganyan. Yung parang warmers na ganyan. Sa wala ako. Sige pa. Ako rin eh. He was telling me one time, Coach, na napakasigpig niya, ano? Sa akin, mahinit eh. Compression niya, hindi ba? Compression, pero hanggang shorts lang. Pero yung ganyan, never ka pang try. Uh, stepping out of bounds once again. Another turnover for GSIS. The game is tied at 64. to hold your muscles and uh, reduce the cramps. Para I really don't know. B2 driving. Right. Nice. Tibay and out of control, Enriquez. That's going to be back to back fouls. But yeah. Enriquez goes running. Four fouls now. May sinasabi ko kanina. Tatlong sunod na ito sa kanya eh. So Ralph Tibay at the line to give NHA the lead. Dito sa third quarter. Nakakalahati na po tayo. Yes. Nice shot of our beautiful venue. Dito sa Nova Desi. Battle of the teams with a 5-4 and four win loss record. 2 for 2. Para kay Ralph Tibay and it's a 2 point lead para sa NHA. Five and three, Rick. Sorry, five and three. Five and three, that makes up nothing. Five and three. Five and three. Banzani. Martinez, pupukol ng tres. Yes! And a foul away from the ball as Ralph Tibay and uh, Rene Boy Banzali go down. Both teams are over the limit. Martinez is a knockdown three-point shooter. And he showed it right there. Instant offense. And again, the second unit players helping out the Furies, but this will be two free throws given up by Banzali. Oh. 
So, City by the Mavic, Mike Lee, I'm sure. Hindi na uso yun dyan, Coach Ari. Mga pareha, bumalik. Bumabalik ba? Oo, usang-usa na ulit. Usang-usa na ulit. So far, 3 for 3 at the line, si Ralph Banzali. And the game is tied. Pero may iba, mahahaba pa rin, Coach Ari. Pero hindi na yung super... Oo, parehan yung title. Nakahakal na. Jordan. Hirap na hirap ako sa ganyan. May nahirap ng triple eh. Pag masyado mahaba. Oo, oh, walang sandadaan yung bola. <laughs> Mas parang may naiiwan pag tumatakbo ko. <laughs> Sumasayad sa floor. One point lead para sa home masters. 68-67. Manzali and Tibay. The pass to Sunga. Sunga travels. 11 points for Sunga. Or eight points for Sunga all in the first half. He's not scored since. Go ahead, pass. Lustestica faking the pass inside. Mercado, another basket. Again, locating an open teammate. Attacking the closeout, helping out his teammate. Being a good scoring situation. Banzali. Under four minutes to play. Iso para kay Bansani. Uh, good help defense by Mercado. Bansani, the reverse, no good. Sunga keeping it alive, and there's a foul on Mercado. Basket will not count. Second for Mercado. So, uh, free throws para kay Sunga. As the home masters get the penalty already. Slow third quarter sa pagitan ng dalawang kupunan. Lane violation na tawag kay Ralph Tibay. We have no rebounders. Ralph Tibay rushing to block out Sunga and tinawagan ng violation. So an extra free throw and pinapagalitan ni Coach Palag si Ralph Tibay. Sabi niya wala pa nga. Another miss for Sunga, unable to take advantage of the extra free throw. Vitung attacking, a little out of control. Bola mapupunta kay Martinez. Laurel, the pass. Asa likod niya, nabalikan niya pa and saves it. Banzali finds an opening and lays it in. One of the best one-on-one players in the history of the UNTV Cup. Vitub spots up. Gonzali has it. Parano. Gonzali keeping it alive. Martinez will drive, kick it out. Laurel on traveling. Rather good close out on the part of uh, the white shirts. Second time they have forced Laurel to commit a turnover. Kanina stepping on the line. Uh oh, hey, naman extra steps. Preserves a 70 all score line. Under three minutes, Nalalabe is the third quarter. Mercado swings baseline, triple team. Rustestica steps into a three, in and out. Vito offensive rebound. There's a foul. Laurel now has three. And the super subs. Bilinger with foul trouble. And a lot of free throws with still a lot of time remaining so I think third quarter. Vitu gets the first of two. Hands down, one of the top players para sa builders. Two for two para kay Vitu. Just a bit of this test again was their top player. Then it became Mercado, but now it's Vitu's team. 17 for Vitun, top scoring para sa home masters. Suna, left alone, looking for some help. The bounce pass, Pareno off the glass and in with a foul from Mercado. I was about to say that was forcing the issue on the part of Suna. 
Lackadaisical pass finds the thread in the middle. And then Pareño with a twist in midair. The grip difficulty 10. Point scored 22. Score line 73 72. Furious. Wala lang prayer na natira. Bumubuga buga pa. Diaz, uh, still unsure kung maakabalin. He's still testing his right calf. And no more Abugan after signing up with a different league. Oh! A battle here. And a lot of physical contact. Suna and Mercado. That's yes, unnecessary. Oh, and Mercado is furious. Let's see that action because that was a fist fight that happened. Well, there was an elbow before throw. That, before oh. that, before that, may naunang binigay na parang sigo si Mercado and then binawian ni Suma and then things got out of hand. We'll, we'll try to check again. And from the looks of it, these two players might be ejected. I think that, that could happen, Coach Ronnie. Because that was a face fight. Ito, tignan natin. Rewarding off. Pagkatapos. It is one elbow. Oh, pangalawa. Tapos ito yung bigay ni Sunga. Binawian siya. And then babagsak si Mercado. And then all hell breaks loose. Magkakasipaan na yan on the floor. Mm, so he tripped. Ito si Sunga. And then ito na yun. Buti na awat ni Martinez. And again, ito, another angle. It was a punch or an elbow by Suna. S- parang, hindi ko rin masabi, Coach. It was a happy sequence. Sa dalawang sunod eh, no? Oo. Kasi ito. And Mercado is still irate. Sayang, ganda ng laban. He gets hurt the more, the most, who benefits more from a possible ejection by these two players. Uh, this is Suma. Seems to have cooled down a little bit. Pero let's go with what you're talking about, Coach Ronnie. Mawala si Mercado, mawala si Suma on either side. Who, who stands to lose the most? Yes, I yes. Yes, I yes. Uh, uh, referee still... Not because reviewing. of uh, Mercado's body, but because me. May papalit. Marami pa sila eh. Oo. Dito, sandali, isang kamay na lang eh. Uh-oh. Diaz has not come back since the uh, second quarter. Sayang, ganda ng laban. A very close one. A one-point lead para sa GSIS. If it's taking too long, let's go on a break first and let's figure out what happens next. We'll be right back. Sunga out of the play court in a disqualifying foul on number 22 Marvin Mercado out of the play court. Okay, so the uh, official call has been made. Well, both players, Sunga and Mercado, have been thrown out. A disqualifying foul during this, this was sequence. This started. Yung unang elbow, and hindi nang pala tumama. Nasakta ng konti si Ayun. Mercado. Bumawi siya, binigyan siya ni Sunga, and then they both go down. There'll be suspensions after this for sure. 16 seconds on the shot. Wala na mga natira player sa GSIS. Oo. Oh. 
think they can win the penalty. Still two minutes remaining. Both teams in the penalty already. Wala nang centro ng Jesus. Oh, Diaz, I'm sure if he'll come back. Vito takes advantage, drives and picks up the foul from Banzani. That's a big side cut that we never even saw. Look at this blur cut. That athleticism of Vito. Goalie command. But what do you do when you touch the basketball? And the good thing about passing is Gabu. Kuto mo. Ito yung sinasabi ko na may pamalit. Vito now was 20. 20 points. A silent 20 points. A killer of a, a scoring explosion. Clementera with the pick. Para mapakaulan si Bansali. Great goal, but nowhere near the basket to Tira. Almost a steal by Bansali. Uh, but yes, uh, Tabu unable to control it. Pareno from outside. Pareno tracks it down. Players are down. Martinez catches, fakes. 10 on the shot clock para sa GSIS. Pareno. One and a half minutes remaining sa ating third quarter. Gets separation. Puts it up. Oh! Fouled in the act of shooting a three. Waldemar Tibay. So three free throws para kay Pareno. Third foul on Waldemar Tibay. He will sit down. Uh, Tibay is one for a seven to a call. And he is upset. Meantime, three free throws. That was a GSIS. And if he knocks it all in, Lala Pang Silabito ng isa. First is good. Second is a miss. So a chance to tie on the final free throw. Yes, two for three at the line, and the game is tied at 75 all. Mustestica. Last by to Vitu. Vitu driving again and is fouled. So free throws. For Vito. Martinez is going for the foul, his first personal. Vito stroke getting better. The more trips to the line, 21 points for Vito now. Perfect at 5 of 5. Wow. 6 of 6. Oblivious to the physicality. Two-point two, para sa home masters coming down to the final minute of the third quarter. Pareno making a move. Ooh. Very minimal contact, but a way beneath the door. Found on Gustestica. And since both teams in the penalty free throws, here we go. GSIS. Twenty-eight for Pareño. Twenty-nine. 29. And again, we're tied at seventy-seven. Final minute. Luis Testiga. Yes. And because he's giving up a lot of nice assists, mahalo nila papa sa mga net. This time, launches his own three ball for a thirteen-point output. For the two-time UNTV Cup MVP. Carreño trying to make a move on Sumaya. Laurel, bounce pass inside. Banzali against Raf Tibay. Double team. Banzali is fouled. Gulangan ng laban dito. Kasi Banzali looks on, you know, for a guard he has post moves, you know. Malakas, malakas. Saka scorer ito dati. Scorer ito ang gano'y. Coach Bennett Pala on your screens momentarily. 
Missed by Benzali on the first. And the second is no good. Zero out of five from Benzali. Zero of four, rather. Five rebounds, four assists. That's a travel. Final 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Normally, by this time, double figures as a double. Almost lost it, Pareño. Banzali, six seconds. Banzali kicks it out. Pareño with three seconds. Ball tipped out of bounds. It will go to NHA with 1.12 seconds remaining. No time for too many dribbles. And that's it for the third quarter. And the three quarters. A three-point lead for MHA here, 1877. Two players ejected. Suma for GSIS. Mercado for NHA. And the game continues. It is a close one. Going into the fourth quarter. NHA 80, GSIS 77. NHA versus GSIS. Final 10 minutes. Both teams with five wins, three losses in the standings. The team that goes up gets an opportunity and makapasok sa semifinals outright because the top two teams, the set eight teams remaining in the second round, uh, will automatically go to the semifinals. A traveling violation on Helen Pena. It's anybody's ball game up to this point of the match. But look at the bench of the green shirts, Kasama Ngari. Oh, Diaz na lang natin. May nakikita ka pa ba dyan? <laughs> si Diaz. Na hindi na nakabalik. Yep. Since Martinez the first quarter. Martinez is there. Sunga is there. Beran is still there. We started out this match for them. Yep. And my thought also played steady. As the Stastica throws that possession away. Apat pa naman, Coach Hernandez. Nandun pa eh. Four players remaining sa bench. Apat, pero ilan na naglalaro. Ilan lang. Martinez na lang. Beran, uh, also, hindi rin nakabalik here in the third. Uh, sorry, in the entire second half. Hindi pa nakabalik ko si Beran. Pero pwede yan. That's true. Nice move, Pareno. Almost, not quite. Vito, bring it down. Tumatakbo. Vito, down the middle. Dabu, a power rebound. Good block by Pareno. And there's a foul against GSIS. He's got game. Pwede itong bata ito. Eh, iba kasi malaki. Larong pa rin ito. Ito hindi ka laki, pero larong big. Sa ilalim talaga, no? Again, Dabu coming off a... Uh, 12 point performance yes, yes. in the last game. One of four players in double digits. One for two. It's a free throw line. And ito, Beran, pumasok na ulit. First time back after not seeing action in the third quarter. Last time with the Rossi Beran, if I'm not mistaken, was first quarter. That was a GSIS. Guarded by Ralph Tibay. GSIS down by four. Bansali, Binalia Bola up in the air. What a shot. Past the primary defender, the secondary, and the first shot of the third defender. A turnover. Lustestica. Bansali attacking. Bansali is fouled. Oh. 
Sa kapag nailagay ka na niya sa pewa, makakahanap na na paraan ito si Banzani. So Rafti Bay will sit down. Guadamante Bay is in. Lustestica also sits down. Tibai is back in, so the Tibai brothers on the floor along with Sumayang, so it's the three guard lineup para sa NHJ. Let me put it this way: in the context of biology, parang linta ang siya sa yun. Hindi mo mapagpag. 81 all for foul by Manzali. Only two. You cannot overemphasize the value. Of the rotation players, the apat na yun. Vito, grab it to Banzali. He knows Banzali is in foul trouble. Will drive the kick out. Three seconds to shoot. Rafi by puts it up. Malakas. And rebound Banzali. Banzali is off and running. No numbers para sa GSIS. Banzali takes the three. Hementera has it. Banzali gets the ball back. I think it's Carmel. I think it's the interest of him. For the big one. Tapos ang laban. Pareño. Driving beautiful play. Pareño. Wow. I don't know how Banzali and Pareño are sustaining it. Backward to front court. Left to right. Everything that they need to do for the team. They've done it in this match. Vito. Yes. 25 now for the Vito. Navigating through the pressure. 25 point output. Amazing. Wow. Sa kaya mga tira ni Vito, walang prayer sa ato. Timeout by NHA here. Manzali is still down. He's tired. One point lead. NHA 84, GSIS 83. Back here is uh, Nova Desi, 84 83. One point lead by the uh, home masters against the Furies. A crucial matchup. Winner will go up to 6 and 3 in the standings, and loser balance up to 5 and 4. GSIS looking to take the lead back here. Banzali, Nabantayan, Nirav Tibai. And Pareño missing. Battle for the loose ball. It's in the hands of Juan de Martina. Vito Pupokolunet. Knocked in a three earlier. The tip. Nice play. Para kay Juan de Martina. And Dabu will go to the line for two. The only legit big man left in this match. Wala na eh. Miss at the line for the first attempt. Okay, Dabu. He was one for two, Kanina. One for two again. 85-83. Uh, Two-point lead by this NHA. Nakalain mo bang pagkitapas makalamang ng Tishishete? Bibigat ng ganito. Oo. A steal by Vito. Oh, poor play by Beran. I don't have to foul every time. And you cannot correct a turnover by giving up a foul. And Beran will sit down. Papa Lixi Laurel. First is good, para kay Vitu. Heavy lifting here for Vito. 26 points. 
Seven rebounds. Two assists, two steals, one block. And he's, well, he was perfect prior to that. This is first oh. miss at the line. Nice pass. Dabu will go back to the line. Multiple trips to the free throw line para sa NHL. Si Coach Pana, tinitignan ko para nakakahinga na ng maluwag-luwag. Sa ganitong laro, may hirap na kahinga ng maluwag. <laughs> Pag nandyan ka, lately, nakakapagod. Nakakapagod. Yung gutom, di mo mararamdaman. Yung oras, di mo makapapansin. Yung ulam sa bahay, di mo maiisip. <laughs> Lane violation, ito tawag kay Dabu. Uh, Timeout. Uh, Coach Roger Yao. 7-83, NHA on top by four. Still anybody's game here, but NHA in uh, control, sort of, uh, leading by four here, 87-83, with a little more than six minutes remaining, so I think fourth quarter. Bounce pass, nice cut by Pareño, but Gustastica with an excellent defensive play. Waldemar Tibay on the loose, puts it in. And this is coming off a timeout. Talagay ko naramdaman na yung Coach Roger Yap na could be the tipping point. So they call his fire. Crucial yung mga mixed goods na beran kanina. And yes, I yes, he's paying dearly for that. Sa ilalo, Enrique has a wild shot. The block from behind by Rustestiga again. A steal, Enriquez spins, Enriquez drop pass. A blocking foul, yung natawag dito. Contra sa NHL. That's gonna be on Sumayan. Enriquez making the right play again. GSIS already in the penalty. Only the third team foul yun para sa NHL. 14 seconds on the shot. So baseline inbound for Pareño. Pementera. Back to Pareño. Manzali has it. One on one. Has to get his second win here. Oh. Kaya nang hinahalap nila yung ball screen eh. Manzali spots up for three. Battle for the loose ball. Enrique saves it, but into the hands of Subayan. Vito. And Luis Testica lays it in. They've been patient. They've been under control. And therefore, CSI has to be over the limit at this point of the fourth. Laurel making a move against Luis Testica. Ball deflected by Dabu. Great defense. Sumayan, the pass to Waldemar Tiba. He hindi nito kanina pa. Eight-point lead. Luis Testiga. Yes, nothing but them. Eighteen for Luis Testiga. When you asked me earlier, sino makikinabang, sino mas masasaktan na nang wala si Suma at wala si Mercado. Eto na ang kasagutan. Nasa si Dabu has protected the rim really well, eh? Manzali sa ilalim, foul on Luz Testica. Back to double digits ang kalabangan ng NHA. They're up by 11. Hindi na kaya ni Diaz, tinatawag siya. Kasi kung kaya niya yun, bumalik na yun kanina pa. And Diaz coming off a double digit performance. In their last game, Diaz scoring 14. So the top two scorers in the last game with GSIS coach Ronnie, Abugan 21, Diaz with 14, both a non-factor today. Si Abugan, wala talaga. Yeah, Abugan talaga wala. wala. Na. Pero to si Diaz, uh, only limited minutes in the first quarter and never came back because of a right calf uh, issue. He was cramping up. Nice pass by Vito Dabo again sa ilalim and he's fouled. I'm not be scoring heavily, but he's gotten everyone in foul trouble. Para sa GSIS. Time presence, yeah, like what you mentioned, Karina. Uh, really, intimidation. 
sa atake nitong uh, GSIS. Hindi lang the shots that he has changed. Hindi lang the shots that he has blocked. Coming up with a smile after converting the front end of his two free throws. Finally nails two straight free throws. Now with six points. And lead is up to 12. For a 6-3 and three win loss late. Loser drops to 5-4. and four. Still will make it to the quarterfinals though. Comentera, too strong. Enriquez trying to keep it alive. Enriquez, grabe yung hassle. Workhorse, beast of burden. Refuses to lose. Uh -oh. Second of high is a 12-point lead para sa NHA after being held by 17 in the first two quarters. Dabu again. Dabu with the rebound. And the ball is taken away from him. Ito si Banzali tumatakbo. Banzali, the pass. There's a foul against Parejo. Last push para sa green shirts. But what a gallant stand, whatever happens in this match. Waldo Martibay out of the game with five fouls already. Pero siya na ganyan bantayan si Banzali. Those 18 points of Banzali could have been much more had he not been scoreless in the first 10 minutes. Waldo Martibay sits down with 13 points of in four of seven shooting from the field. Pareño, meanwhile, I believe has over 30 points. 31 points. For the scoring machine, Jonathan Pareño. What a game. Vito, binabantayan ni Pareño. Vito, the long two. Big rebound para kay Sumayang. Bustestiga wisely pulls away. Para magbawas ng oras dito. Sumaya, the kick out. Ralph P by corner three. Wala. Dabu trying to keep it alive. It was last touch by Enriquez. Fourteen seconds on the shot clock para sa NHA. Their lead is eight dito. Beat it up, turn around. Last touch by Dabu. Papa Ignacio Luis Testica. Manzani. Nice pass. Him and then a short. Sumayan, the pass. A double touch. And Vito puts it in. In boxing, for a body punch, it's not really big. In NHA, in boxing parlance, wearing the opponent down with body shots. 10 point lead. Para sa NHA. Banzali for three. Wala. And Banzali is already tired. Very tired. Ralph Tibai running it down. Three against one. Ralph Tibai puts it in. Lead is back up to 12. NHJ. One hundred eighty-eight, a 12-point lead para sa NHJ with 2:09 remaining. Time is running out para sa high-scoring match. Oh, total of 64 free throw shot in this match. Pareño using the screen by Enriquez. Last two minutes, Enriquez, the pass. Yes, hit, gets the lucky bounce. That's where you think that they're almost out. They come back again with a critical basket. Nautak talaga si Enriquez maglaro, no? Ten-point game. Sumayang finds an opening. Nice dish. Dabu off the glass and in. Sumayang attracting the first line of defense. Excellent find. Dabu stabilized really. Total of eight for Dabu. First field goal, by the way, for Dabu. But six of ten from the free throw line. And it's just filling the void left by the absence of Marvin Mercado oh. due to his ejection. Laurel spots up. Nails it. Uh, GSIS.
still in it, only down by 10. You have to admire the second unit players. Laurel, Martinez, of course, Enriquez. Sumayan in and out. Tabu loses it. Under a minute remaining, Pareño reverse is oh, good wow. with a left hand. 35 for Pareño. Under a minute, Coach Bennett senses the red flag. So he calls a ceasefire with this much time left in the final quarter. Well, Coach Ben Parad, as you can hear, are really concerned about uh, Pareño and Bansali. And sabi niya na, kung mo po arma pala, bantayan niya na. Their lead was 12. It's down to 8 with under a minute remaining, uh, 48 seconds to be exact. This test the guys back in the game. Sumaya. So oh, Bastos, you know, Ubu still again, 24 seconds shot clock. Prado, that shot is partially blocked by Laurel. Tatakbo Banzali. Banzali finds an opening. Banzali is stripped by Vitu. Big stop. Big stop. Would have been down to six. That's off to the Furies. Wala akong masabi sa fighting spirit at effort nila. First up pa lang to, dapat blown out na ito. But they had other things in mind. So bagay, first round pa lang, halos out na to eh. But they found a way to make it to the second round. And a win here with a more complete lineup could have changed the landscape of this match. Our coach Bernard Palad, his leadership, stabilize this team. Many times they could have been rattled dahil hindi na nga ngayaw yung kalaban eh. Uh -oh. But they stayed the course. And right now, are only a few seconds away from picking up their sixth win in nine matches. Eight-point lead with only 25.6 seconds remaining. Herculean effort para kay Pareño with 35, oh. Manzani with 18, Laurel with 13. But uh, clearly not enough without Abugan anymore in the lineup. Diaz uh, struggling with cramps. Um, and Suma was thrown out. Ball stays with GSIS with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Uh, timeout dito. Para sa NHL. Well, down by uh, eight coach Shawnee. Not many options okay. right now. Para sa Furies. Best option to score as quick as possible. Either a two-pointer or a three-point shot. So in the, in the event, coach Shawnee na aakit ang NHL to six and three here. They have a shot at uh, making one of the two slots available uh, para sa semifinals. As you see an attempt there. Okay, Martinez, Enriquez, oh, falls hard. And the foul by Dabu. Great timing, Sabolo. I mean, he's not the highest jumper. He's not the tallest player, but uh, his timing is excellent. Oh. So, Hemantera comes in, replacing Martinez. Who did his job, uh, attempted a three to try and you know, cut down this deficit uh, at this point. Uh, you can only hope for two points off the free throws by Enriquez. First trip to the line, nine points for Enriquez. Pareda, 35 points. Manzali, 18. Laurel, 13. Sumayan will bring it down, and this could be it. Unless he might have found Parito on GSIS, but uh, Coach Roger up saying no more. And that will do it. The time will just run down. Uh, NHA Home Masters Coach Ronnie will get the win here and go up 6 and 3 starting standings. We'll be rewarded. We had a one track mind heading to this match. This is to take care of business, and they did. Lost a 17 point lead. Built a 12 point margin late in the match. 
And they will climb to 6-3 and, and deal GSIS their fourth loss in nine matches. And GSIS will slide to 5-4. and four. Still good enough for a place in the quarterfinals. And we will be down to our last play date on Thursday. The final two games here in round number two. As we are about to turn it over to our colleagues, Vina and Rex, for their respective interviews with the top two players in this match. Kasama uh, Rex, are you ready? I'll send it to you. Maraming maraming Ronnie and Eric kasama natin ngayon ang co-best players of our final game today sa ating doubleheader of course from the NHA Home Masters Antonio Stesica and Alvin Vitog Alvin, bakit sa tingin mo napakahirap iput away ng uh, GSIS Furies? Uh, siguro pares kasi ng mindset namin ayaw rin nila patalo kahit wala na yung ibang player nila may natron out sa amin Talagang binigay din nila lahat. Siguro nga kasi pares kami nag-aagawan makapasok sa quarterfinals. Siguro mas sinuwerte lang kami ng last quarter. Thank you so much for that. Now, Anton, ikwento mo naman sa amin ano yung instructions sa inyo ni Head Coach Bennett Palad nung na-thrown out si uh, Marvin Mercado. Uh, mag-focus lang kami. Gawin namin yung tama sa game na to kasi magandang baon namin to para dun sa quarterfinals. Eh. Para medyo yung assurance namin na makapasok sa semis, mas malaki yung chance. All right, gentlemen, congratulations on your back-to-back -back wins. Before ko kayo i-let go, baka meron kayong gustong pasalamatan at batiin. Alvin, ikaw muna. Uh, Siyempre, unahin ko ng pasalamatan yung management. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa patuloy niyo suporta sa amin, yung attorney search namin. Tapos yung mga ka-office mate ko, binabati ko lahat sa OGM pad. Tapos yung kaibigan namin sa NHA Home Masters, si Michael Altiger, yung The Little Giant namin, binabati ko. Si Jomer, yung official photographer namin sa NHA, binabati ko. Si Madam Jessa, mga walang sabang pat, ano, sumusuporta sa NHA Home Masters, yung NHA Bone Community. Si Tatay Emil, binabati ko rin. Si Daddy pala, si Daddy Palad. There you go. And ikaw naman, Anton, baka may gusto ka rin batiin at pasalamatan. Of course, same thing yung management namin. Si GM, Ty. Si Attorney Sir Zumasyan, Sir Charles Kimpo. Then yung Palad Family, Los Testica, Palma. Fredo, ano pa ba? Uh, Saludes, Aldiger, then Sir Danny Gonzalez, Sir Boy Perez, then oh, my OCS family, GSD. Coach Eric, salamat. Thank you sa laging pag-advise sa akin. Then yung, ma, yung taas prito Diaz na team ko. Yun na. Uh, si Edna daw, asawa ni Bitog. There you go, si Anton pang bumati. Sa <laughs> sabi ni Alvin, maraming maraming salamat. And congratulations, gentlemen. Of course, good luck sa mga susunod pa ninyong laro. Tawagin natin ngayon si Rina to wrap this baby up. NHL Masters and earlier to the OPPMS for winning the third game against the Senate Defenders. Here's our updated team standings. As of today po yan, syempre nangunguna pa rin po dyan ang kupuna ng Judiciary Majes with 6-2 on their win-loss record. Pareho po sila ng AP Cavaliers also with 6-2 on their win-loss record. Umakita po sa number 3 ang NHA Home Masters with 6-3 on their win-loss record. Pang-apat po sa ating pwesto ang GSIS Furies now with 5-4 win-loss record. Na sinusundan naman po sila ng kupuna ng OPPMS na 5-4 din po ang kanilang win-loss record. Of course, pare-pareho pa rin po na 4 4-4 on their win-loss record. Ang kupuna ng DNR Warriors, PNP Responders, at ang Senate naman po, 4-5 on their win-loss record. Ano ba ang games natin next Thursday? Yes. This coming Thursday, actually. This coming Thursday on the 23rd mm -hmm. of March 2023. Ang bilis ng panahon, Rina. Mula sa Novaliches, pupunta naman tayo sa Paco, Manila for another doubleheader. Can you help me out? Ano ba ang mga maglalaro? for our doubleheader next week. Of course, when we talk about that one, uh, syempre 3 o'clock ang start natin sa ating doubleheader for our first game. We have the PNP uh, going up against the AFP Cavaliers. And on our second game, it's the DNR Warriors going up against the Judiciary Majes. Of course, we would like to thank the supporters and fans we have right here of UN TV Cup Season 9. Yes, and once again, to the Senate defenders who actually just bowed out the competition Nothing to be ashamed of. You actually gave a gallant stand. Same goes to the GSIS Furies. Yes, Grab definitely. in effort and yung heart. And hindi pa naman nagtatapos doon ang kanilang season. Alright, sa ngalan po ng lahat na bumubuo ng UNTV Cup Season 9, ako po si Rex Trinidad. And I'm Rina Villamor, camera, wishing you all a good night. Thank you for watching us. God bless everybody.